Okay, so let's do the second homework, which is actually an independent groups t-test, which means that it is a between subjects, between groups design. And so what we're looking at is um, the smiling, number of smiles, but for men and women um, in a five-minute interaction. And we're testing the null hypothesis here, which shows that I don't spell check before I print, and which is not a good, a good trait. Um, okay, so basically we're going from start to finish, soup to nuts here, on how to do this, this problem. So let me expand this out a little bit here. So we can put the males up here because we're going to need the mean variance and standard deviation for each group, and then standard error, find t, find degrees of freedom, and then state a conclusion. So actually, I guess I should put our null and alternative hypotheses up here first. So the null hypothesis is going to be that mean 1 minus mean 2 is equal to 0. The alternative hypothesis is going to be that mean 1 minus mean 2 is not equal to zero. So we're going with a bi-directional hypothesis um, as we always do. So males 8, 11, 13, 4, and 2. If we just do figure out the sum of the raw scores here, um, this is going to sum to 38. And then um, we can square each of these two. Whoops, hold on. I don't want I'm trying to find the mean in standard deviation, but I can look at each one of these scores squared. So uh, we get 64, 121, 169, um, 16, and 4. So that's the sum of the raw scores squared. Uh, if we add all those up, is going to be 374. So if we um, keep on taking this out, so let's do the mean for our men, for the males. So the mean is equal to the sum of the raw scores over n. Sum of the raw scores is 38. n is 5. And so our mean is going to be equal to 7.6. Uh, let's figure out our variance for this group. So that's going to be equal to the sum of the raw scores squared minus the sum of the raw scores squared divided by n over n minus 1. And so plugging our numbers in, we're going to get 374 minus 38 squared divided by 5 over 4. Um, oh, if we skip on down, we get, uh, we'll skip a step or two. Uh, we don't have that much space up here. We get 374 minus... Um, 288.8 over 4. So we'll, we'll go to some intermediate steps, which gives us 21. And so then if we get our standard deviation, uh, which is just the root of this, so it's going to be, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's 21.3. There we go. So it's 21.3 under a root sign, and that gives us our standard deviation of 4.62. Okay, let's do the women here too. So females, fifteen, nineteen, thirteen, eleven, and eighteen. And let's get square each of those. So 225 
and 361, 169, 121, 324. So if we get the sum of the raw scores for this group, 15, 19, 13, 11, and 18 is 76. If we get the sum of the raw scores squared, uh, the international sound of doing math, uh, 1,200. Um, so again, let's get the mean. The mean is going to be equal to, uh, well, it's the same formula, sum of the raw scores over n. So um, we're going to do 76 over 5. And the mean is going to be 15.2. So the women are smiling more. Is it significantly more? That's the question. Let's do our variance. There's our formula up there. So we just do the exact same thing. We get 1,200 minus 76 squared divided by 5 over 4. Uh, skip to an intermediate step here. Uh, 1,200 minus, um, well, 1155.2, which is 76 squared, which is 5776 divided by 5 over 4 is equal to, um, well, we'll just 44.8 over 4, which is equal to 11.2. And then we can get our standard deviation, which is going to be 11.2 under a root sign, um, which gives us a standard deviation of 3 point, whoops, 3, 5. There we go. Okay, so that is our mean, whoops, there we go, mean, variance, and standard deviation for each group. Okay, let's find our standard error next. I'm just going to do a massive amount of erasing here. Just like this is a blackboard. Okay, 20 minutes later, we have something that we can read. Okay, so let's find our standard error next. Um, so we represent that as S x bar 1 minus x bar 2. That's essentially our um, omnibus variance term. And again, the formula for that is going to be um, n1 minus 1 times the variance for group 1 plus n2 minus 1 times the variance for group 2 over n1 plus n2 minus 2 times 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2. There we go. And we put it all under a root sign just to complicate things. Um, you know what? I'm going to erase all of our squares down here too just to give me a bit of a, of a palette to work from. Okay. Okay, um, so let's skip on down. So let's fill in the numbers here, too. And that'll, that'll get us to the next step. So if we have um, n1 is 5, so 5 minus 1 times the um, variance for um, group 1, so that's 21.3, which I already erased. I'm going to move that. 
plus, um, again, 5 minus 1. Uh, the variance for the uh, women is 11.2 over 5 plus 5 minus 2. 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5. Under a root sign. Uh, if we skip a couple steps, um, so we multiply this out, multiply this out, add them up, divide, we get um, 85.2 plus 44.8 over 8 times 0. 0.4 all under a root sign, which gives us equal here, which gives us um, 16.25 times 0.4 under a root sign, which gives us um, well 6.5 under a root sign, which gives us uh, a final. 2.55. So our standard error is equal to 2.55. Next is to find t, which we can, I guess we can put it up over here. And that's mean 1 minus mean 2 over our standard error. Um, mean 1 was uh, 7.6, mean 2 was 15.2. You can reverse those if you want. If you'll always like to work with positive numbers uh, with a between subjects between groups t test, it doesn't matter which number comes first. Um, so you can just say 15.2 minus 7.6 over 2.55, um, and that's equal to uh, 2.98 or negative 2.98, depending on, because um, it's, again, uh, it's plus or minus. Our degrees, it's an absolute value, let's put it that way. Our degrees of freedom is going to be uh, group 1 minus 1 plus group 2 minus 1. So 4 plus 4 is equal to 8. If we look up the T critical for that, it's going to be equal to 2.31. And so we compare our T obtained, 2.98, to our T critical, 2.31. Uh, 2.98 is greater, and so therefore we reject the null hypothesis that there is no difference in the um, number of smiles between males and females during a five-minute interaction. So we can say statistically that women are smiling more than men uh, in this particular sample. And that is how to do an independent group's t-test from start to finish.